Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the GPU Technology Conference in San Jose. And this afternoon, we're at the Liquid booth with Jay and Smith. How are you doing today, guys? Doing great. great Wonderful. Great. Thank you. Well, Jay, let's start with you. Who is Liquid? Yeah, so Liquid's uh, an early stage technology company. Um, classify us as a, as a startup. We've been in business for about three and a half years, heading on four years this summer. And what we do is we actually focus on solving the data center's biggest problems. Um, so we've built a composable infrastructure, which uh, my co colleague Summit will talk about shortly, um, but ultimately helping companies uh, deal with the static infrastructure problem, breaking the motherboard ch uh, chassis paradigm. Okay, okay. Well, I was going to ask you that, Summit. I mean, who do you guys help out there? What yeah. is the problem you're trying to solve? Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the term is called composable infrastructure, and if you haven't heard about it yet, you're going to start hearing a lot more about it. Gartner refers to composable infrastructure as that next generation data center architecture. And as Jay mentioned, what we're doing is we're breaking that server motherboard paradigm. Instead of uh, building servers by plugging stuff into a motherboard with composable infrastructure, what you do is you connect pools of resources, pools of storage, pools of compute, pools of networking and now pools of GPU into a PCIe fabric. And then our software comes in and says, let's compose or let's build servers based upon those resources connected. Grab this CPU, grab those four SSDs, grab these two networking cards, grab that GPU and build me a server. Defined in software, but I'm delivering you a bare metal machine just like you would plug into the socket of a motherboard. Okay, that sounds pretty powerful. We, how, how would you use that? What kind of workloads need this kind of capability? The idea is really around resource utilization. You're putting these very expensive resources into the data center. For example, a GPU can be multiples of thousands of dollars, but what happens? The GPU gets a workload, it's busy for a certain amount of time, and then the resource sits static. Average utilization is around 15% in the data center. By taking that resource and dynamically sharing it across multiple nodes or servers, you can get better utilization out of these resources. Yeah, another use case is for autonomous uh, vehicle applications, right, it's very much dependent on GPUs uh, because we just announced GPU support in the composable infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Companies now have the ability to actually move around these GPUs dynamically for, uh, for different applications such as autonomous vehicles, artificial intelligence, uh, deep learning, etc. So very much GPU dependent and because we're a PCIe based fabric, mm -hmm. these devices sit natively in our infrastructure and we can just move them around between different servers as we need to. So as a fabric, you have a hardware and a software component then to there's this, a, this there's solution? There's a hardware and software component. Yeah, so we build yeah. a physical switch, yeah. right? It's a half of a 1U form mm -hmm, factor. Mm -hmm. And inside of that switch, we have a PCIe, uh, basically the PCIe switch, but we also have a management CPU that's connected to that PCIe switch. And what that management CPU does is it actually walks the PCI bus. It looks for all the devices that are connected to mm -hmm. its ports. Yep. And we actually present that to the user through a really intuitive interface, a UI. We also give them a REST API, and we also give them a command line that they can go and manipulate the fabric to construct these servers with these elements that, that are sitting on yeah. the fabric. Well, it must be pretty uh, compelling to me because I just read you guys got some funding this week. Uh, can you tell me about that as yeah, well? Absolutely. Yes, yeah. we uh, we were happy to announce we uh, raised our Series A funding. Uh, yeah. It was uh, ten million dollars of additional funding, which brings the total funding to the company to twenty million dollars. Well, great, great. Well, uh, uh, this sounds very exciting, especially with all this uh, GPU coming to the data center. This kind of flexibility. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week here at the uh, San Jose.